NBC News covers illegal nursing home evictions over Thanksgiving weekend, and Oklahoma authorities shut down care homes following abuse accusations. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, December 4th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. NBC News released a story that some nursing facilities illegally evict residents when funding runs out, among other reasons, during the long holiday weekend. The story reported that many facilities discharge longer-term Medicaid residents to make room for more lucrative short-stay Medicare residents. Long-term care ombudsman received 10,610 complaints about discharges and transfers in 2017, an uptick from 9,192 in 2015, and that the ombudsman, whose work is federally mandated and state-funded, received more complaints about discharges and transfers than any other grievance. The news outlet cited an example of a facility in Bishop, California that discharged a resident who was receiving, who was recovering from back surgery when her Medicare coverage ended, even though she was not yet healed. Providers reacted to the news report on Monday and noted that while they cannot defend offenders, those facilities that discharge residents improperly are more than the exception from the norm. Three care facilities in Oklahoma have been shut down and several felony charges have been filed following accusations of resident abuse and neglect. In February, authorities began investigating a report of financial exploitation at 4C Residential Care Home in Bowley. Sisters Levada Stacy Myers and Enatrice Myers Tarpe, co-owners of the Rest Haven Management Corporation, are accused of stealing money from an adult male resident of a care home who has the, quote, mental understanding and capacity of an eight-year-old, according to charging documents filed in late November by the Attorney General's office. They are accused of obtaining the resident's debit card under the pretense of paying for his monthly living expenses at the home. Instead, authorities say the sisters used the debit card to spend more than $10,000 in makeup purchases, more than $12,000 in money wire services, more than $3,000 at smoke shops, and more than $600 in airline tickets. More than $32,800 in transactions were illegally made using the adult care facility resident's bank account, according to the charging documents. The sisters each face four counts of financial neglect by a caretaker, one count of conspiracy to commit financial neglect by a caretaker, one count of fraudulently obtaining personal identity of other persons, one count of using access to computers to violate Oklahoma statutes, and one count of engaging in a pattern of criminal offenses in two or more counties. Authorities say they operated two unlicensed facilities and one licensed facility. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.